Okay, so what we have here is a Kenmore Elite uh, HE5 dryer. And what happens is uh, the whole panel up here is dead. Uh, but the light, the drum light comes on. So um, I did a little bit of research. And uh, the first I found was uh, there's two control boards. Uh, that was the first thing I found. Uh, I ordered the cheapest one. Uh, it was like $95 and then the other one was a $240. So I ordered the cheaper one uh, just to try it and then um, the next day I was doing more research and discovered that it could be the thermal switch too which is what I have right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do the thermal switch first. Uh, the good thing about it is if this works then we can take that $93 part and send it back and get a refund. Um, so I'm going to get to that and I'll show you that along the way. Okay so the first thing I did is I unplugged the dryer and I'm going to take a panel off in the back here. Get all this off. So yeah, it's gonna make me take all this off just to, because you can't get the panel off with the wires through there because it's all attached up there. Um, that's all right. Not a big deal. It's unplugged from the wall, by the way. <laughs> just in case you're wondering. Good thing why you got it out to since you got it apart anyway, just uh, go ahead and vacuum it out, get all that extra lint out. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll go back to the switch. Okay, so there's two parts of this fuse. There's I don't know how good you can see that. There's one right here. Oh, let me try and do this a little better. One here and one in the back there. This enclosure here this is where your heating coil is uh, I had to replace that a couple years ago uh, so I just want to show you where these two switches are and uh, I don't know how good I'm probably not gonna be able to get a camera in there but wire wire they're both red it doesn't matter which side you take off and then this one here Take the one in the front off first. That'll give me access, better access to the one in the back.
see how good you can see that I just want to make sure that I put the switch on the same way so the black part down here is toward the front Being a little finicky. There you go. Clips into place there. Alright. And this one goes here. Now, all the wires are there. Pull some more lint out. Okay. Put the other switch. Tight. Don't over tighten them. Just move this out. And there's your two switches. This is the thermal switch, by the way. There's two pieces to it. There's this one and that one. Uh, be careful. Don't don't tighten them down too much, or you'll strip them. Uh, that's it. I'm gonna put them back together now. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to put this back together now. Panel here. Grip on this. Oh, duh. <laughs> Put the right socket back on here. All right, so you just need the one big socket. That's for that ground wire. Other than that, just the. The smaller one that you use, and the smaller one is, uh, I'll let you know here in a minute. The smaller one is a quarter inch. You need a quarter inch for all these screws, except the ground screw. The ground screw is a five sixteenths. So, quarter inch socket that takes all the panels off. doing something wrong. <laughs> That's funny. Like something's not right here. Alright, now we got it.
Okay, so you can tell, lights on. Time for the test. Nope. Okay. So the thermal switch didn't work. That kind of sucks. All right, be back in a minute. Okay, so um, you got the control board. That's the, uh, the thing. I think it was ninety-three dollars. It's right there. It's this one right here. Uh, so you just take this screw out there, and this will come out. Okay, that's what it looks like inside. Put that over here. That's a $93 board. This one here. This one here is $243. Uh, and the thermal switches were $45, I think they were. All right. So then this just goes in here like this. There's two little slots, uh, pegs in here. You're right there. Oh, can't see. Right there, they slide into th those two holes right there. So keep the wires out of the way. Right up here. And put this back down in the spot. Oh. There. Okay, so there. That there, that there, and put the screw back in. And the, this hole right here to hold that cylinder back in. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, board back on. Oh, I gotta put this other cover back on. Okay, here the cover and go in the, slides into this little little hole there, and then there, just like that. Covers all that up. Okay, this one. Goes back over the top there. Back on here. This slides on like that. There you have it. So you need the uh, you need a quarter inch socket and a five sixteenth socket uh, to do all this. That's it. And the boards are pretty straightforward. There's just a couple connectors on all of them. The thermal switches were just a couple connectors. So they were, they were a little more difficult to get to just because of, you know, someone with smaller hands would probably, it'd probably work a little better. Um, that's all. So uh, you guys hope you enjoyed that video and uh, I'll try and get better as I go on. Thanks.